Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot and we have dining reservations at Akershus Royal Banquet Hall. This is the character dining restaurant in the Norway Pavilion and it just recently reopened and I've never eaten here before. They have Norwegian style cuisine, the princesses come around to the tables and I'm so excited. After that we're going to hang out at Epcot, ride some rides and just have a beautiful world showcase kind of night. Anywho. Let's go do this. It is a beautiful December day. The temperature is in the 70s and it's also festival of the holidays. And I haven't been here since opening day so we might do some of the cool festive things for the uh, festival. I am very excited to try some Norwegian style food at Akershus, which I'm not even sure if I was pronouncing the name of the restaurant right, but I did some research and I asked some cast members and it looks like I'm saying it right, but there are different ways that you can say it. And once I've eaten here, there's only two more restaurants left and I could officially say I've eaten at every single restaurant at Walt Disney World. Only two more restaurants to go. Kristen from right down Main Street is actually going to be joining me tonight. And how do you pronounce Akershush? I did a lot of research on this topic beforehand. I came prepared. I think it is Akershush. 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 Yeah. Akershush. And I want to show you guys this text that Nate sent me. We were trying to, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need you to send me a voice clip on how to pronounce this restaurant we're going to. <laughs> well, because I wanna pronounce it right and it is a little bit challenging. And, and I had beat you to it. I already looked all over TikTok for how to pronounce it and there was actually a video of the cast members that work there pronouncing it correctly that are actually from Norway. So that helped me a lot Then we're going back and forth, but I think it is Akershush. Akershush. <laughs> Also in recent news, uh, you might have seen the picture of Tefiti now in Epcot for the new Moana water exhibit. So I wanted to show you guys that because it looks really cool and interesting. Here is our first look at Tefiti and you can see just the top of her head right there and I can see some of the flowers and it looks really beautiful. I'm sure from that angle with like Spaceship Earth in the background it's going to look better and honestly the pictures that I've seen make it look a lot bigger than it actually is. What do you guys think about the new Moana exhibit? I'm excited, I'm a big Moana fan, uh, but I'm not too sure how it's gonna tie in. But I mean, it's gonna tie in good because of world nature. And also, I noticed that the park is very busy today and I figured out why Josh Gad, the voice of Olaf, is the uh, celebrity narrator for the Candlelight Processional tonight. So we might try to do that, but I'm sure we're not gonna be able to though because the line is already backed up all around World Showcase and the first show hasn't even started. We're gonna start making our way back to the Norway Pavilion now so we can check in for our reservation but I wonder if we are gonna be able to catch the barn Santa just for a quick you know second since we're going over to Norway. Oh my lord there he is the barn Santa. Do listen. Go you, would you mind uh, a photo? Uh, oh, well, I'll take one, yeah. Do you have yes. any pictures of you? I'd love one. <laughs> I will give you a picture of me, but I would love a picture of you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, we could trade. Man. Oh, okay. Go oh, you. <laughs> All right, we'll do a photo. Oh, my Lord, we were just in the presence of greatness. The barn Santa himself graced me with a selfie and a little video, and I feel honored. He is my favorite thing about Festival of the Holidays. I wish I was able to catch the show for you guys a little bit, but we just caught the tail end of it, and it is so amazing. I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you come. And now we're gonna make our way over to the restaurant. It's time, uh, it's time to eat. And here it is, Restaurant Akershus, Royal Banquet Hall, Princess Storybook Dining. And uh, they have a little bit of the menu right over here I want to show you guys. I'm so excited. We got field greens, we've got lefasa. I think I said that right, but I had this before and it was really good. And then it's also family style, so it comes with meatballs, mashed potato, chicken and dumplings, pan seared salmon, green beans, cabbage, macaroni and cheese, and uh, then desserts. So you get all of this and I'm pretty sure it's all you can eat. Like it's a family style platter and uh, we're gonna head in. Oh, lingonberry cream. That's gonna be fun. 
the restaurant pricing is $63 for adults and $41 for kids but uh, it's like a character dining so it's gonna have the high price tag and it is all you care to enjoy I also feel like it's a little bit more than just a character dining. As you can read here, uh, it's a princess storybook dining and Arkashu's Banquet Hall opens its doors for a feast in honor of the world's best loved storybook princesses and you're invited. Dine in a medieval castle where you encounter royal pomegranate, pomegranate <laughs> princesses, friends who can't wait to meet you. As I mentioned before, this food is inspired by Norway and one of the cool things that they told me is they don't have fryers here because they don't fry much food in Norway and they have like chicken and dumplings and stuff like that and I'm excited. It used to be a buffet, like it used to actually be a line buffet but now it's family style, kind of just like how all the other restaurants phased reopening. They have a good selection of different uh, alcohol beverages, including one called the Bifrost. If you guys watch Thor, uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, because they do have a Thor exhibit here, but I feel like I might need to summon the Bifrost. They also have the Northern Lights, the Blue Viking, and a couple of other wines and beers from Norway itself. They even have Aas, pronounced Aus. See right here, beer. It, they had to put the pronunciation in there. Pronounced aus. We have made it to our table and it's so pretty in here. Like I said, I have been in here before, but seeing the princesses all walk around is kind of really cool. Here is a look at the restaurant itself, or should I say castle. And look how awesome it is. The princesses are just walking around. Oh, there's Belle. Look at that. This is really nifty in here. There's Aurora over there. Here comes the Royal Princess Promenade. I called it a pomegranate earlier. <laughs> I was reading out loud and I'm like, a pomegranate of princesses. Oh, there's Jasmine. <laughs> I have already ordered the Bifrost, which I'm excited to see it come. I'm, I'm going to assume that it's probably different colors, but uh, they start you off with some salad and lepasa. Lepa? Lepa? Lepsa. And I've had this before over at the bakery. It's really good. And uh, we can eat as much as we want, especially the cinnamon butter. Here are the greens and the lepsa. And there's the cinnamon butter I was talking about. Usually they have it inside there, I would assume. That's how they used to do it, but I don't know if it's still there or not. Oh yeah, that's how it comes at the bakery. So we're gonna have to do it ourselves. I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna make myself a little uh, little pastry here. A little roll up. Oh, here comes the drinks. Yeah, so Northern Lights. Northern Lights right there. I'm summoning the Bifrost. <laughs> Kristen, don't look now, but Belle's behind you. Aww. Cheers to the Bifrost. Cheers to two adults at Akershaw. <laughs> oh, mine's really good. Orange cream in here. Oh, it's mine. Mine is good too. Mm -hmm. Look at this young picture of Kristen right here with Belle. At which Akershaw. Right Acre here. Akershush. Yeah. We Look at here. that. And she used to be dressed in her little village outfit. Yeah, now she's in her nice little dress. She's in the gown now. She's in the gown. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, fantastic. This Bifrost is amazing. I love it so much. And I'm not a big fan of frozen drinks, but this is a great blend right here. This is what I was meaning. We're just gonna do this. Probably a lot easier. It has been a long time since I've tried this, so I'm kind of excited to see how much I really do like it. Very good. Mm. It reminds me of Texas Roadhouse dinner rolls. Like the butter that they use, that is what, oh wow, I might eat a lot of this. 
I started off with just a little bit on the inside and on the edge. Now I'm covering it in the butter. It is that good. Like it has to be like fully like submerged in butter. I can dine on the left side all day long because I love Texas Roadhouse rolls, but uh, we gotta save some room. Gotta save some room for the main event. And Ariel has arrived. Look at that. It's very nice to see you. Very, very nice. Yes. Oh, thank you. You like my hat? I might go sailing later. Yeah, I might actually use the fork as a dingle hopper, right? A dingle hopper. Yeah, we don't need no cinnamon butter in our hair, especially in my hair. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. But thank you. <laughs> Kristen, how's that salad? Good? Good. The dressing is like a really sweet vinaigrette. I think if I read it was a lingonberry vinaigrette. Lingonberry? I like the dressing a lot. Wow, the snozberries taste like snozberries. Snozberries do, and they're good. <laughs> <laughs> Something I just realized, we are in the Norway Pavilion and we're at a princess restaurant, but there's no Anna or Elsa. Isn't that crazy? I mean, well technically Elsa is the queen, but what about Anna? She's a princess, Princess Anna. I mean, yeah, they have their own meet and greet and their own attraction, but not here. And here it is, the main event. We got the mac and cheese. The, are they like Swedish meatballs or they're Norwegian meatballs? Comes with some mashed potatoes, salmon, green beans, cabbage. And then this right here is probably the thing I'm gonna love most. It's a chicken and dumpling like stew, but look at that. Oh, actually all of the food looks amazing here and it looks like well prepped. So I'm excited to dive in, make myself a little plate here. Maybe just one meatball though. One meatball. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about the sauce that's on the meatballs. So I'm just gonna take a little bit right here with a little bit of mashed potatoes just to give it a test. Just a little taste test. Oh, I like it. They're like a little sweet. Yeah, like I think that's lindenberry on uh, top. Like a little jelly, I think. The table next to me was just telling me they have uh, a frozen restaurant on the Wish, like in Arendelle, and they serve these meatballs there, and they said that these ones are better. So I'm gonna roll the meatball right down over on my plate. Look at this rolling meatball. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. So we're gonna break in half. Oh, nice. I like the uh, cut on those. And uh, now we're going in. I have been known to eat a meatball or two in my day, so I think I can say I'm a meatball connoisseur, and I might be able to give you a good ranking. Now, these aren't gonna be your traditional Italian meatballs, but uh, we'll see what it's like here. That's a good meatball. <laughs> I absolutely love the meatballs. I'm not the biggest fan of salmon, but Kristen ate the salmon. What do you guys, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a solid piece of salmon. There's a nice like garlic butter on top and it went well with the green beans too. I like that. A and solid the, salmon. Solid salmon. <laughs> the mac and cheese was kind of like your basic mac and cheese. Nothing crazy, but still pretty solid. The kiddos will love it. Um, but overall, I think the food is really good. Yeah. It's really cool, it's cooked and it's prepped really well and uh, true to uh, Norwegian, uh, Norwegian style. Yeah. I like it. Now it's time to dive into the chicken and dumplings and I think that's what I was excited for most. I got a little dumpling on there. It's more like a stew though, to be honest, and they come out in like little tiny bowls. So here we go. Okay. That's good too. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. The flavor is amazing. The the dumpling part is a little bit like runny, like the sauce itself, but I like it. It's so funny because me and Kristen, like they bring out the the whole platter and you can get more, but we all got our own little bowl of uh, stew. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers to dumplings! Cheers. <laughs> I do suggest if you do get the dumpling soup, you should definitely add some pepper to it. A little salt and pepper. And also, 
kudos to them for having probably the nicest looking salt and pepper shapers I've seen at a sit down restaurant around here. Like they're not just like generic ones. I don't know what they're supposed to represent. Are, is that what they are? They're mountains? I thought they were rabbit ears. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm throwing in the towel. I ate a lot of meatballs and chicken and dumpling soup. The mashed potatoes were really good. Now it's time for dessert. And I'm excited to try some uh, authentic rice cream. Like, you know, Norwegian rice cream. It's kind of like rice pudding, but a little bit uh, thinner. And uh, I don't think I've ever had it before. And here it is. That is the rice cream with some strawberry sauce. And this is the chocolate log. I think that's what he called yeah, it, like right? Lindenberry inside. Lindenberry. It looks really cool. It's got the Norwegian flag on there. We're gonna dive in after you. There we go. I like rice pudding a lot, so I feel like I'm gonna like this. Huh. I don't know. I, I think I might like it more without the strawberry. I feel like if I would say anything that wasn't my like favorite, it would probably be the desserts. I mean. They're okay, but it's not like something I'll be, hey, that rice pudding or that rice cream was amazing or the chocolate log. So, yeah, I think this is like kind of where they're lacking, but I can eat that all day as my dessert. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Rice cream in the left side. Yeah, and with the cinnamon butter because that's how you would make rice pudding. Mm. Oh, my Lord. I think I just stumbled upon something. There we go. I've combined the rice cream with the cinnamon butter, and now I'm making myself a little wrap. I'm gonna roll it right up and see if we can turn the dessert into something desirable. <laughs> desirable. I was in the middle of a burp there, <laughs> and I was holding it in. I'm like, desirable, but here we go. That ain't it. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I thought I did, but I didn't. Looks like we're all finished with dinner, but on my way out, I noticed the restrooms over here, and they're like old vintage Epcot restrooms, or like old Disney restrooms, and I love that. See how they like have the logos on the doors? But the little area inside has like this wallpaper and the flooring. This is like vintage, like Disney stuff. Look how old this is. I love it. I get excited about these things. This is just like the little pre-room, but you can see like the, just the wear and tear on all the walls. I don't know why this stuff fascinates me, but it does. And now we are finished with dinner and it was delicious. I liked a lot of that meal. I love the dumpling soup, the meatballs, the mashed potatoes, the uh, lefis, lefis? I, I, can't, I always have an issue saying that. Lessa, thank you, Kristen. But it was really good and uh, the characters were awesome. Uh, they come around, they have this special little parade that they do. And uh, yeah, like I said, one more restaurant off my bucket list. And uh, being able to have the title of uh, eating at every Walt Disney World restaurant. We're going to make our way back through the Odyssey. This is where Santa is actually doing meet and greets. I think he's done for the day though. Oh, we missed Santa because he was here from 5 to 5.40. Aw, and it's such a nice little setup that they have here, too. Look at it. Oh, it smells like pine in here. Like, it, they actually pump... Oh, maybe it's because of the trees. I thought they were pumping out some scents in here, but I think it is just the trees. Well, we missed Santa Claus here, but we did get to see Julius in the barn, Santa, so I'm okay. Now I think we're gonna check the wait time, see if we can hop on a ride. There's no way we're gonna catch the candlelight processional. Everybody I've run into today so far has just talked about how long the standby line is. Someone told me it was all the way back to Africa. So that means it's literally stretching from <laughs> the uh, uh, American pavilion all the way past Italy and Germany and to the bridge. That is a long, long line. Wait a second, as I was sitting out there, I heard a ho, 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 and look at that. He is back. He is here. Hi, Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
I was literally just standing out here before, probably the clip before you saw this, and all of a sudden I heard, ho, 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 and then I see Santa Claus walking by, and I was just like, no, that can't be the Santa that's supposed to be here, and then I was like, wait a second, why would there be a random Santa walking around Epcot, and then I look inside there, and he is back, there is a long line, but it does say the last uh, meet and greet is at 5.40, and it's 6.30 now, so I guess he's putting in some overtime. And now I think we're going to make our way over to Living with the Land. They have a holiday overlay, and I don't think I showed you guys that yet this year. It's really cool. They actually added a lot to it, little Christmas lights. And right now they're doing the holiday uh, projection show on uh, Spaceship Earth there. Look at that. That actually looks so cool, and I've never seen it before. Wow. Ooh, and then the monorail's going by. Things are just popping off here at Epcot. Standing behind or uh, in between two great shows. I don't know what to watch. Holy moly, just like I said before, it is busy here today. And you can actually see, oh, hi guys. Hi friends, oh, hi Mark. Hi Mark. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was saying, it is busy here today. Josh Gad can really bring in the crowds because wait till I show you guys the line for living with the land. There definitely seems to be a lot of people wanting to live with the land right now. Holy moly. I have never. Why, I have never. <laughs> Hi, friends. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I almost tripped 30 minutes that's a that's a lot of people I mean this is the living with the land the greatest attraction in Epcot you know I have to agree with you yeah <laughs> I love living with the land, but I feel like that line might be longer than 30 minutes. It could be possibly longer than 30 minutes. So I think we're gonna have to pass on it today, but I'll be back. I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you. We need to stop and appreciate this beautiful moment that's about to happen. Magical. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Since living with the land was very, very backed up, I think we might head to the seas because looks like that's still a solid five minute wait. Kind of like how it always is. Look at that, five minutes. Can always count on the living seas or the seas with Nemo and friends. Mine? I always want to sit here and wait to see if this actually goes off. I'm looking at you, seagulls. Mine? mine, 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 mine. mine? After we get done riding the seas, we get to actually see the gentle sea cows, the manatees. Pick a shell, any shell. Ooh. <laughs> Who's riding with Papa? <laughs> What if Nemo's out the sea? Nemo's out the sea! shark in there I don't know who wouldn't love that ride I think it's so much fun now we got to come see hi to our favorite little gentle sea cows oh look at 
There he is, sitting right on the right on the bottom of the uh, tank. Oh, and there's one up top too. Look at that. The majestic, gentle sea cow. He's taking a nap. And this guy's up there, kind of sleeping. They're so awesome. I love it. I've actually swam with these before. Have you ever, Kristen? Actually, I swam with one in the wild. Did you? Yeah, me too. Well, oh, no, not scary. I was well. I was just in the ocean swimming in Siesta Key in the beach. Siesta Key. And all of a sudden, I just seen this giant like black mass swimming towards me, and yep. I was like, "What is this?" I had no clue what it was. I didn't even know manatees could go in salt water. It was terrifying until I realized what it was. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like a shark or something. Oh, real? No, I've touched <laughs> them and everything like that. Just uh, you know, them they'll, they'll come up and bump up right against you. Oh, oh, this one. I think we just woke them up. Oh, he's, he's like floating. You raise me up so I can climb the mountains. Look at that. That was cool. That was really fun, actually. <laughs> well, I can say we had a fun day here at Epcot. Uh, we got to ride the seas. I wanted to ride more rides and even catch the candlelight processional, but wasn't in our cards. Things like that happen. But something else that wasn't in our cards uh, is maybe a quick trip to Fort Wilderness and I think we might make that happen. We have some friends staying over there and uh, thought it'd be fun to stop in and check out some of the Christmas decorations. Also wanted to point out, this is a first I've seen this. I mentioned how busy it was. They're actually parking people in the grass. Look at that. Holy moly. It's a, like a super busy day here. And we have made it to Fort Wilderness. It smells like horses here, but I'm excited to see a little Christmas decorations, hang out with some friends. And since we didn't get to do a lot at Epcot, I figured I'd just bring it along, you know, carry the vlog over. I switched over to my uh, Donald Duck hat and uh, my little flannel. So I feel festive. Whenever you come to Fort Wilderness, you have to park over here and then take bus transportation to the campsites and to the Tri-Circle D Ranch, unless you have a friend who has a golf cart. And then in that case, you just gotta hitch a ride with them and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm looking for our friends who's scooting around in a golf cart. They're gonna come pick us up. Found them! Look at this. We found us, we thought we were gonna get hit by a bus. Oh. Park the safe spot. Yes. Who's who's driving? Ashland. Ashland. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh <my laughs> this is always so scary. And Ashland tips us over and we just like tumble on out. <laughs> We're going out on the main roads. We're going out on the main roads. Oh. What in a way. Yes. Here we go. We're making a break Woo! for it. Woo, doggies. <laughs> Good job! Ooh, here are the cabins. Is this called Cabin Ben? <laughs> We're just driving around checking out all of the Christmas decorations. This is something awesome that actually me and Maria, we've been doing this for five years five now. Five years, how crazy is that? Right? Yeah. Five years we've and done this for. around your birthday. Yep. Craziness. All the golf carts in front of us. Like, so everybody's... Look at how pretty this is. All of these are just so beautiful. Radiator springs right here. This is too cool. Merry Christmas. Oh, and I think Santa's up here with his reindeer too. Look at this. Oh, look at these little reindeer. Look at little Santa Claus right here. I love this so much. Huh. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All right, take a look at this cabin and how festive it is. Maria did so good. I'm indecent father. How, how do you 
Look at this. Here. It's like a winter wonderland. It is. I love it. Chairs, ornaments, lights, poinsettias. Oh, yes. yes. Stockings. This is pretty. This is very, very nice. You know, we fit it all in one box, except the tree. Yeah, what about the toaster? How are you going to get that home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it in your purse. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here tonight. Just a little tease or a little bit of uh, Fort Wilderness. I do plan on coming back a little bit closer to uh, Christmas time and doing a whole video. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that a lot. I recently came here with my mom and sister when they were down here. and We went to Hoop De Doo and uh, I didn't video it. I just spent time with them and enjoyed. And it was their first time going to do that. And uh, I was planning on coming out and doing a video. But Maria was here and she had a cabin. So I was nice to come see her and hang out for a bit and just show you guys a little bit but i'll be back so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye